Why do we create camera raw presets? So that a group of photos with the same exposure settings can be color corrected at one go. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create and apply preset in Adobe Camera Raw. So, without any further delay let's quickly start the video. Open Photoshop and use the shortcut Ctrl O to open a photo. As this is a JPEG file it won't open in the Camera Raw plugin. But we can very easily edit this photo in Camera Raw which comes as a filter. But before that create a duplicate of the original image layer. If you want to perform non-destructive editing then right-click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Do you want to know more about non-destructive editing with Smart Object? Then go to the I button above. I have provided a video link in the description below as well. After creating the layer into a Smart Object, go to Filter and then Camera Raw. Make necessary basic color adjustments to your photo. Then come here to this preset section. Here you will get the option to create a preset. Click on this. Name your preset from here. You can keep it as a user preset, or you can create and keep it inside a new group. From this drop-down menu, you can select which subset of adjustments you want to include. If you made changes only in the basic subset, then select basic from here. Further, you can click here to include and exclude particular adjustments. Click on this checkbox if you want a slider option with the preset so that you can increase and decrease the overall preset adjustment. You are all done and now click on OK to create preset. And you can see your preset has been created. Now open another image with the same lighting condition. Press Ctrl O to open. Duplicate layer and convert it into a smart object. Then go to Filter and Camera Raw. Access presets from here. Under User Preset, you can see your created preset. Just place your mouse pointer over the preset to see the live preview of the effect. Click to apply the preset. And use this slider to increase and decrease the opacity of the effect. You can even fine-tune the adjustments from here. If you are satisfied with your edit, click OK. And if you want to delete a preset, go to the Preset section and simply click on this Delete Preset option. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to watch more Photoshop tutorials like this. Good day, and see you in my next video.